Okay, I'm on Shopify. I'm going to add a product, give it a simple name because AI will take care of the rest. I'm going to add an image. Okay, and I'm going to save. So basically no title, no description, and this in a couple of seconds will be populated by AI. Let's try to refresh this page. There you go. Title, description, done with AI automatically. Hi there, I'm Andres from Connex. We are an automations and integrations agency, and we can help you automate and integrate your e-commerce, be it Shopify, Magento, BigCommerce, WooCommerce, or else. Have an integration need or an automation idea? Book a free discovery call using the link in the description below. Okay, I'm going to show you how I've built this automation in Zapier. This is pretty, pretty simple. So the Zap looks like this. I trigger this workflow for every new product in Shopify. When this works, this is the kind of information that comes together from this trigger. So I take that and I send this to ChatGPT. ChatGPT has a feature called Vision that is able to analyze images. So after you connect your account, you hit continue, and this is how the configuration looks like. You need to feed the image URL in the, this field and then give it a prompt. Here's a little bit where the magic of AI uh, happens. If you are, say, a snowboarding e-commerce, it's worth adding those keywords here in the description. It helps getting better titles and descriptions for your products. But basically the prompt is, hey, generate the title and description for the image of a Shopify store. And I give a little bit of instructions to uh, what to include and not include. AI sometimes adds some comments or extra characters. I don't want anything of that. I just want the title and the description using this format. These three chapters help me split the title and the description in the subsequent step. So when I send this to AI, this is what I get back. I get the, uh, this is my prompt, this is the image, and this is what I get back from ChatGPT. And you can see I get the title, the three characters, which in my case is three the slashes, and then the description. This is a single string. I need to split that. And that's why I'm using Formatter by Zapier. The action is text. And this is how the configuration looks like. So the transformation is to split text. The input is the output of ChatGPT vision. And the separator is the three slashes, the three chapters. I want all segments as separate fields. So if I hit continue and test this step, Here's how the output looks like. So I have the title in item one and the description in item two. Hit continue and the app this time is Shopify. I want to update a product, hit continue. And basically in the title, I use the output from the formatter as well as in the description. I leave everything else untouched. The product ID is this one. You need to construct this sort of URL but basically this is static. And to include this ID, which is the product Shopify ID, you need to construct this URL using this plus button on the side and you can bring the ID from Shopify. So look for ID and the correct ID should be this one. Perfect. Hit continue, test this step, hit publish. And from this moment moving forward, every new product that you update with just a picture on Shopify, will have its title and description generated automatically with Zapier. This same workflow can be adapted to work with other e-commerce platforms as well, say Etsy, Amazon, WooCommerce, Magento, anything that has an API. It can be adapted as well to do bulk uploads. Say you have a database of items you want to upload to Shopify, but the, those items needs, you know, uh, title, description, tags, categories uh, that can be done using something like Airtable where you upload all images beforehand or you have a Google folder with all pictures with short names in the pictures. This can be used as well. So whenever there is a, a new folder in Google Drive or a new file in Google Drive, this can be used to create a new item in Shopify, a new product in Shopify or even a new variant on Shopify. 
And as you see, there are many fields here in the setup that you can use to uh, configure on Shopify. Any of these fields can be generated with AI. So product type, maybe you want to give tags automatically, categories, collections, so on and so forth, alternative text, everything that can be done with ChatGPT can be automated uh, with Zapier. So again, if you need help or do you want to brainstorm ideas on how to automate your e-commerce, look for the link in the description below to book a free discovery call with us. Cheers.